Trevor Simeon is someone I know well. Trevor Simeon was the quarterback at Northwestern, which is where I went to school. Yes, sir. Um, and, and I have been telling everyone who would listen, Trevor Simeon is going to make a living in the National Football League for 15 years because he is exactly what you want a backup quarterback to be. He is a guy who can keep the ship afloat for a couple of weeks. I've always said if your quarterback badly sprains his ankle. I didn't anticipate mononucleosis, <laughs> but they are, for the purposes of this discussion, the same thing. I think the Jets, I think Trevor Simeon is more than good enough to win a game or two for the Jets. Now, what you just ran through the schedule, week three is New England. They weren't going to win that game anyway. Um, It would be awfully surprising if they won that game, regardless of who the quarterback was. This is why losing to Buffalo was so ridiculously damaging. Because now they have to beat Cleveland. If you don't beat Cleveland, you know you know the numbers better than I do. If you start a season out zero and three, your chances of making the playoffs are so infinitesimal um, that that it, it feels hopeless. So Monday night feels like it is the season. And the good news for anyone else listening who's a fan of the Jets is I, I have faith in Trevor Simeon. He's a good player. He's not meant to be someone's starter for a decade, but he is a good backup, and he is more than capable of coming in and playing well enough if the defense is really good on Monday night for the Jets to have a real chance to win. Well, here's the deal. Mike Greenberg, ESPN, my compadre in this world of misery for the Jets right here on the Rich Eisen Show. Here's the deal, Mike, is that – Yes, they should win a game in New England week three. That's the defeatist, the defeatist attitude uh, that so many Jet fans, and I understand why, why, why it's had. But yes, they should win week three because Sam Darnold is supposed to be the guy in year two to walk in with Le'Veon Bell behind him and Adam Gase coordinating it. Even He might be the guy, might not be the guy, but it's time. It's time. How many franchises can discover their newfound savior in the draft? The Browns clearly have somebody that they can hang their hat on. The Chiefs had the dream come true Tom Brady thing bestowed upon them. We could keep going on and on about this, and it doesn't happen to the Jets. And Darnold, I'm afraid right now, Greeny, still his high water mark is coming back on the Lions in his first game in which he threw a pick six to start his career. When is yeah. it going? This is this is the issue that this should be it now. I mean, they should go into a place like New England. They should be able to look the Eagles in the face in their house and say, "Sam Darnold's for real. He's our Wentz, right? That that yeah. that, that, that he's our Goff. That's that's the thing that should be happening right now, and it's not. And it, it might not well, even this year. We might have to wait till next year, Mike. Right. If, if we lived in an alternative universe, then all those things might be what were happening. But what is actually happening is that there was a moment in time on Sunday when the Jets defense had forced four turnovers, recorded a safety, and scored a touchdown, and they were in a one-score game with the Buffalo Bills. That happened. So the Jets offense on Sunday was so bad, so unimaginative, so ridiculously disappointing that even before Darnold came down with Mono, I was extremely concerned. Like, I, I, I don't know what you thought. I hated what I saw from the offense on Sunday. I thought it was ridiculously predictable. It was unimaginative. It was obvious the offensive line had no chance of protecting Darnold, and yet they kept sending him back into that same drop with no, uh, no, no threat of moving him around in the pocket or anything like that, which he does so well. How many balls can you have batted down at the line of scrimmage before you say, we need to try something different? Uh, and they didn't. Then Quincy Anunua got his annual out for the season injury. I, I can't believe he got through an entire game uh, before he was placed on injured reserve for the year. So all the things that make people use, anyone around the country who's not familiar with the Jets may not know these three words that you and I know far too well. It makes people say, same old Jets. And that, unfortunately, is what it feels like. And I'm fighting like crazy the inclination to just throw my hands up in the air and say, there we go again, but it would be hard for me to deny that there is a part of me that is thinking that right now. For more of The Rich Eisen Show, tune to Audience Channel 239 on DirecTV for free on BR Live or download The Rich Eisen Show app.